This was a gift from Ryan Sheckler for Christmas. It's a prosthetic leg and I don't have legs, so it's funny. What's poppin'? This is Big Z and these are my 10 essentials. My boxing gloves. For me, I'm a martial artist. I've been a martial artist since I was five years old. I have damn near perfected the art of kicking someone's ass. So with that being said, I like to fight. And if you ever get in my way, I'll knock you out. And I do this every day. It's a lifestyle. I live it, I breathe it. I've broken bones. I've bloodied people. I've broken their bones. I train every single martial art that there is. If I have access to it, I'll learn it and I'll use it in the cage. So I can use anything from boxing to wrestling to Muay Thai to Jiu Jitsu to karate to gym car to anything in the cage just because my sport requires you to know all the martial arts. My goats are Anderson Silva, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, and Joe Frazier. My chains. And this was given to me by the goat Mike Tyson himself. He put this on my neck himself. So I wear it every day. It's important to me, you know. Uh, the other pieces I got, the Cuban links, like they're cool as a gift from my cousin because uh, he's on the come up like I am right now. Aside from that, like, you know, I like the fashion statement, but it, it's with, like the price becomes limitless when it means more than just money. So people like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, they were black men in an era where we weren't really respected when we stepped into a sporting event and they walked in there and they would absolutely dominate. That's why I like them. He said he's like, he said he's proud of what I'm doing. He said he's inspired by what I do. He told me I'm an inspiration. You know, it's just like stuff that everybody says, but coming from like the greatest of all time, hits different. One of my most important essentials is always having a piece on my wrist. As you can see, I got one on right now. Back home in Ohio, I have a box full of them. So this is my Cartier piece. Definitely one of my better purchases I've made so far. And I'm gonna be rocking this thing here in a couple of days, so. I've always been intrigued about how they work. As a kid, I would take apart watches and like put them back together or try to put them back together. It's been 20 years and I'm still collecting them. The next thing I couldn't live without is my skateboard. This was a gift from Ryan Sheckler. You know, I threw away my wheelchair and I used the board every day. And as you can see, it's a custom board and I'll put the green wheels on it to match the board. I take pride in being able to ride a skateboard and learning how to do tricks in it. It was a really impulsive decision. Uh, one day I was moving out of my crib and I just uh, never picked up my wheelchair and got a skateboard instead. And I've been skating a pretty long time. Uh, you know, I've, I was on and off as a kid. You know, I get messed up all the time. But, you know, as I, now that I'm older, I tried it again, I've picked up a few tricks. I always have to listen to music, whether it's a speaker, whether it's earbuds, whether it's our headphones. I need my music, because if not, I will go crazy. So with that being said, I always got this thing on deck, and this is it, this is my speaker. I need my music. I'm from the hood, man. I be listening to rap, hip hop, R&B, soul music, old school music. You know, I like, the, I like stuff that'll make you want to dance. I've been making music since I was three years old, and I've been making music and became head drummer of a lot of things from church to school to the side gigs at bars uh, since I was a little kid. I didn't have a family growing up. I didn't have a mother, I didn't have a father, I didn't know my siblings. I was either homeless or I was in and out the foster care system for 17 years. So music played an important role in helping me keep my sanity. Next thing on my list would be my smell goods, my cologne. So this is Cartier, but I wear an assortment of different colognes. I like to smell good. You're never gonna catch me lacking and not smelling like something good. I was just taught not to be dirty. <laughs> you know, as simple as that. Uh, I don't know how any other way to say it. Wash your pits, spray some cologne. <laughs> the next thing is my gaming systems. This is my PlayStation controller. Uh, I currently have a PlayStation 5, I have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation 4, I have a PlayStation 2, I have a Nintendo Switch, I have an Xbox One, I have an Xbox One S. Uh, I'm a super nerd. Currently, right now, I only have the PlayStation 5 at the crib, uh, but back home, I have all my game systems. You know, I like to play. It's something I do. I, hopefully, there's a cool thing that comes of it. 
if not, if nothing comes of it, I'm still happy playing games because it's just absolutely one of my favorite pastimes. I started drinking these in college. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a two-time All-American at Kent State University College Wrestling. And ever since then, since I've competed in any pro level sport, I drink one of these afterwards. And this is actually my favorite one, the blue raspberry. It's so tasty. Uh, it's more, it's way more healthier, has more potassium, so you're not gonna cramp. Cause it's either, to me, it was either drink a body armor or eat a, eat a packet of mustard. Stop cramps mid-match. I don't know what's in the mustard, but for years, since I was like a little toddler, anytime I got a cramp, mustard would, mustard would take it away. And then body armor started putting potassium in their stuff, so I started drinking it and I wasn't cramping as much either. Next thing I have on my list would be the sets of glasses I own. Now these are some really dope Versace glasses. Probably gonna rock later tonight for real. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you where I partake in, but I wear my glasses all the time. Sunglasses, I just like it's a fashion statement. You know, I'm not about to follow the, the usual norm of being fancy. I'm gonna have my own version, my own style, my own swag, my own finesse. This is Big Z, appreciate y'all watching. Tune in next time.